The Homemakers Equal Rights Association, known as HERA, was a national organization concerned with raising the legal and social status of the homemaker. Founded in Illinois in 1973 to support the ratification of the Equal Rights Amendment, or the ERA, HERA expanded to address other economic and social issues concerning women. Their accomplishments with the ERA fueled generations of homemakers and organizational supporters to keep fighting for equality through inclusion and outreach. What were some of the goals of HERA? At the root of their cause was a fight against economic insecurity and efforts to raise awareness of the value of the non-monetary work of women in the home and community. Social justice issues discussed in HERA's monthly newsletters along with the ERA, included violence against women, nuclear war, and retirement planning. Local and regional chapters of HERA organized across the country and held their own rallies, marches, and conventions. HERA understood the unique needs of homemakers and provided resources to make it possible for women to participate in the organization's activities. Educational resources also helped women understand the proposed ERA and how they could make a difference in creating change. One flyer contained detailed instructions on how to write to public officials at both a state and national level, and tips on how to make letters persuasive. Another document offered advice on how to be more confident and assertive when communicating within the home. Hera's guidance aimed to help all women feel empowered and included in the movement. Hera made the voices of homemakers heard by organizing and participating in rallies across the country. Members of Hera's Illinois chapter were some of the 50,000 marchers at a 1980 rally through Chicago's Grant Park in support of the ERA, and also attended large rallies in Springfield and Washington, D.C. Not only were members of Hera marching and boycotting for the ratification of the ERA for themselves, the News Sun reported that women were marching in honor of their mothers and grandmothers and for the futures of their daughters and granddaughters. In 1980, Hera organized Roses Day. Cards with silk pink roses were sent to legislators to show support for the ERA. Messages in the card stated the pink rose represented a symbol of love that proclaimed that the homemaker gives love and expects in return the full protection of state and federal laws. Hera invited women from across Illinois to gather in Springfield on Roses Day and charted buses to bring supporters and their families. As the deadline for ratification approached, Hera, Illinois held an event called Hostage Day. On April 28, 1982, Hera met in Springfield to lobby the governor, James Thompson, and their local representatives to pass the ERA in Illinois. Women wore yellow ribbons as a symbol of the hostage-like situation of women in our own country. The Homemakers Equal Rights Association believed that passage of the ERA would benefit American families and protect all women. When the amendment failed to be ratified by enough states in 1982, the organization focused on other issues but dissolved several years later. The materials in the Hera collection at the Women in Leadership Archives show the organization's decade-long fight to include homemakers in the conversations surrounding women's rights and social justice issues. To learn more about this collection and others, visit luc.edu wla.